Hi there. Now before we start part B, let's just recap what happened in part A. We were given this curve, which was described by this equation here, x squared plus 4xy plus y squared plus 27 equals 0, and asked to find dy by dx in terms of x and y. And the answer to that was dy dx equaled minus all of x plus y over 2x plus y. Now we're told that a point Q lies on the curve, and the tangent to the curve at Q is parallel to the y-axis. Given that the x-coordinate of Q is negative, in part B now, we've got to use the answer to part A to find the coordinates of Q for seven marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So how do we use the answer then to part A? Well, what we would expect is the gradient to be infinite. We would have an undefined result for this. OK, let me just draw you a sketch just to uh, show you that point. OK, if you just got, say, x and y here and you had some kind of curve, OK, coming around like this, say, then the tangent to this curve, say at this point here, would be parallel to the y-axis. And as I say, its gradient would be undefined. And we get that when you divide by 0. So that's the key to this problem. It's when this denominator here, 2x plus y, equals 0. So I'm just going to lead in with this, that the tangent, OK, is parallel to the y-axis, to the y-axis when, and that's when 2x plus y equals 0. And rearranging this, we'd have y equals minus 2x. So if I was to call our original equation, say equation 1, and we'll call this equation 2, it's just a question of solving these two equations simultaneously. So if we just border that off, I'm going to substitute equation 2 in to equation 1. So therefore, we're going to have x squared plus 4x multiplied by y, y being now minus 2x, and then plus y squared, so that's now going to be minus 2x, all squared, plus the 27, and that equals 0. So cleaning this up, we've got x squared minus 8x squared, and then plus 4x squared plus the 27 equals 0. So we end up with a total of minus 3x squared here. Minus 3x squared equals, and I'm going to take the 27 from both sides, so it's going to be minus 27. And if I divide both sides by minus 3, we've got x squared equals 9. So if x squared equals 9, then obviously x could be equal to plus or minus 3. So let's just put here x could equal plus or minus 3. But we're told that the x coordinate of q is negative. So we'll just put then that x equals minus 3 as x must be less than 0. So if x is minus 3, then I've just got to substitute this into equation 2. And that gives us the corresponding y-coordinate. y will equal minus 2 times minus 3, which is going to give us 6. So therefore, the coordinates of q okay, is going to have coordinates of x being minus 3, and the y-coordinate is going to be 6. Okay.